Hey everybody, welcome back to the chess grind. It's a new day. Let's start a game and try to win some points. Playing Ongmo from Cambodia? Myanmar. Burma. That's cool. Okay. Um, Owen's defense. I don't know how to respond to this, but I think I can just go ahead and take the center with the pawns. So I'm just going to do that. A viewer mentioned one time that if you have the ability to push your pawns up the center and take some space, you might as well. So that's the idea here. Oh, okay. I don't know if it matters too much where I put my light square bishop. Either c4 or d3 I imagine are good options. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just play the safer move and go d3. Okay. I don't know what this opening is all about, uh, if I'm being perfectly honest. I don't know what he's scheming. I don't I don't know what he's up to. But I'm just gonna play it safe. Okay, d4 is protected. I can always take back if he takes d4, which I don't think he will. I suppose I could push the center a little bit more here. I would just have to be careful for my knight. Maybe the safe thing to do here is just either develop the dark score bishop or just castle. I think I'll just go for castle. Okay. Hmm. Okay. His knight is kind of in a weird spot. If I threw my bishop here. I don't like that his knight is defending a7. Um, I think I would like to go after that square at some point. But... Why don't we just keep developing? A lot of people mention that I take a lot of times on some really easy and simple moves, and I tend to agree with them, but I think if you talk through your moves, you obviously take a bit more time. Um, so there's that. So I like to share my thought process. So I'm trying to find the balance between talking and playing. Um, let's see. He's obviously got a lot of firepower on d5. I don't so much. If he retakes with the pawn, um, I do have the option to trade queens too, which I don't know if I want to do that or not do that. Hmm. Or do I just push up? Why don't I? Hmm. No, he just blocks with the pawn there. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just trade off whatever. Okay. So obviously our queens are staring at each other, so the question here is to trade or not trade. I think I'll just simplify the game. Yep. Do have check here. Hmm. I don't think it's a great move, though. It doesn't really accomplish anything. I'll put a rook on the open file. I 
Obviously, I won't take his dark dark square bishop. He's protecting with the knight here. Oh, ah, I should have snagged that pawn. Uh, no, I would lose a knight. Right. Hmm. Okay, I think there's a decent move around here somewhere. Hmm. Would be sick to get a knight out to here. I have g5, f7. If I go here, this is protected. I think he will move his rook. I don't think he's going to fall for this. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, I think the idea here is if he... Uh, he's. I think he's looking for back rank mate. So I think at this point, I basically have to develop the bishop. Make sure I don't get back ranked here. Let me think about this. Or I can just make an escape square for the king too. Um, let me think about this. Even if he moves his dark square bishop, I can just trade bishops as well. Or uh, trade rooks, excuse me. This is kind of risky, but I'm just going to try it. This is a bit of a forcing move, so he's basically forced to move his rook up here. Yeah, okay. Kind of saw that coming. Now I believe I can attack his rook this way, so I believe he's just losing a rook no matter what here. Right? Because if he goes d6, um, I can take his rook this way. So I think his rook is kind of just trapped here. Um, I'm kind of hanging my pieces off here on the f file, which I don't really like. I think I'm just playing too aggressive and I'm not really following my own rules about <laughs> developing the pieces. <laughs> Um, that's fine. So he's looking for this next. Um, yeah, so in this trade, I'm losing a rook as well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is a really awkward spot for me, I have to think. There's always this. Ah, oh, that kind of blocks me in though. Actually, no. This is fine because then this is checkmate, so um, I kind of win a move here. Okay. Okay, I kind of have to move here. He's going to win a pawn, which is fine. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, I could go here, but it's just it's it's getting really close. Um I think this is okay. <clears throat> I'm thinking way too much this game and I, I know it. Oh, I set him up for the fork. <laughs> I tr I tried to get away from the fork. Well, I guess this is still kind of protected. 
Uh, what do I do here? Maybe I just take something in the process. Hmm. I'm going to try something. Oh, right. He'll probably just take with the pawn. Oh, really? Um, interesting. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be totally honest. I thought he was... <laughs> I thought he was going to take with the dark square bishop and then with the pawn, but uh, neither one of those scenarios ended up happening. Okay, so maybe I just give up my rook here. Which rook do I want more? Um, is there some damage I could do? Yeah, I could do check. Maybe he'll take with the pawn. This game's a mess. Okay. Now the question. No, I can't save this knight. Okay, so he's gone. Free pawn. Um, I think he's going to push his C pawn here. Okay. Ah, he's just defending there. Okay, that's fine. That was a lot of thinking and a lot of work to get to an even position. <laughs> okay. His bishop's hanging here. My pawns are hanging. Oh, okay, that's fine. If I could get my knight onto d6, that'd be a pretty sick fork. Oh, I'm willing to make that trade, I suppose. Okay. Oh, yeah, GG. Ugh. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> I was talking about the escape score. I never got around to making it. <laughs> yeah, GG. This is a lost game. Uh, it kind of feels bad. Uh, I wasted so much time thinking this game. Ugh. He wasn't really making the moves that I was hoping he was going to make. Um, there was a few positions there I just was short-circuiting. Um, looks like the position was pretty even. I, I kind of fell for the trap here. Yeah, all I really had to do here was just make um, an escape square. But even then, I was so low on time, I probably wasn't going to win. But anyways, let's go through the moves. Okay, so book move. Book move. Um, yeah, the whole thing about this opening, I'm very unaccustomed to seeing it. At this elo. Uh, so this was kind of new to me. A lot of these positions were just new. Um, so I was mostly just trying to play the best moves, um, even if I didn't necessarily know what they were, uh, if that makes sense.
This move doesn't hurt you, but it doesn't help much either, sure. Hmm. Ah, the down button. The bane of my existence. Queen trade. Yeah. This makes sense. Just blocking the trade. Um, sure. I thought I could have done something there with an even board, but I guess not. Okay, the rooks can see each other, allowing them to provide mutual defense. Sure. So that's an inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to win a rook by eventually trapping a piece. Ah, uh, so go for the check instead here. Ah, I see. So I think that would have been something like this. And then here, right? Yeah. So let's see, wouldn't he be forced to move here? Bishop c5. Interesting. I figured he would have went rook d6 if that was the move there. Oh no, he couldn't do there. Oh, right. Right, so in this position, the rook was gone no matter what. So this is defended, defended, defended. The bishop has these three squares, and the knight has these two squares, right? So his rook was kind of trapped here. Oh, really interesting line. Really interesting line. A little bit outside of my pay grade, but, you know, what can you do? Interesting. Sure, okay, so trading the knights here. I know this is a fork. Um, so he'd kind of be forced to trade here, and then I can just take back. That makes sense. Yeah, this move was probably... <laughs> I don't want to say one of my worst moves, but it just had an easy defense. And then obviously he played a great move here too. Yeah, I think once he put his knight onto d4, it kind of started to fall apart for me. Um, he just had so many good options with his knight here that uh, I was kind of getting a little bit flustered. And I think this is kind of going back to one of the principles that I'm really bad about following, which is developing your pieces before launching attacks. I know I should be doing it, but I just get way too excited about these side quests, like with the knight here on f7 and the bishop here on f5, when, let's say, these two pieces, the dark square bishop and the rook, still haven't been developed. Um, so I think if I was to play this game over again before going into these attacks, I think just getting the dark square bishop off of its starting square uh, would have been a, a lot better. So these rooks could at least see each other. And then once he goes here, I at least have the option of the rooks defending each other. Um, so yeah, good move by him here. Right, and I think this is where the move that uh, Stockfish recommends, or the engine, whatever, recommends. Knight e5, trading off the knights, um, because this pawn was undefended. He had the option of doing this, um, but this is what one, two moves away. So I didn't really um, have the ability to spot this yet. So good move by him. Bad oversight by me. I figured taking a rook was fine here. Interesting. Blunder, huh? I'm surprised this is a blunder. You allowed the opponent to win a rook through a four. Oh, right. So I thought I was being cool by getting the rook um, away from one of the attack squares. And then I managed to get it back to a square that the knight could attack. So really impressive blunder. <laughs> Very impressive blunder. 
that was <laughs> let's see let's just see what would have happened if i put it somewhere else say gosh i think e6 was like the only better place to put it right oh even that's a bad play because let's think about this so e2 he takes with the knight um e3 he forks e4 his pawn takes e5 his knight takes so i kind of figured e6 was maybe the only other move here but it looks like that's a blunder as well why is that oh right because his knight takes so really i guess my only option was just to move over right if i really wanted to save this rook Let's see what would happen if i move back here even then well so his knight was just in a really good position here yeah so this is kind of um an upstream problem if you will where i allowed him to get onto this really good square without um being able to defend it and then he was just able to do all kinds of crazy moves so okay yeah and then it all kind of went down a hill from here right so both of both of these pawns were undefended hmm. this kind of goes back to develop developing the pieces so just defending this pawn was probably the play yeah okay yeah obviously i overlooked this yeah okay so this knight move to d6 i was expecting him to take back this way um and then go here uh that was a kind of a bit of a hail mary um but once i moved here i realized he could take with the pawn i'm surprised he didn't go for that um that's fine because I figured at this point I could at least move the rook. Yeah, so what did the engine want him to do? Yeah, take with the pawn. I, I was surprised he didn't do that. Hmm. So knight b7 was a miss. He permitted the opponent to win material by trapping a piece. Interesting. Oh, right. I had the free rook. Hmm. Yeah, that would have avoided my eventual checkmate. Hmm. Right, because my knight was not going to be able to get out of b7 anyway, huh? Oops. Yeah, because these three squares were defended. So my knight was kind of done here. So really, yeah, I should have just taken the more valuable piece. Interesting. Hmm. So I had the option to take a rook. The knight was going to get taken no matter what. But I decided to go for a bishop, the less valuable piece. Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting lesson here. Um, I'll need to remember this. Okay, c8, so that's a forcing move, that makes sense. Saving the knight, or getting the knight out of the way. I don't know. It just seemed like saving a rook was more valuable here. Hmm, this seems like a mistake to me. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Another great move by him. Takes back, best move. Great move there. Okay. Um, I only moved back here because it was defended by the bishop. Interesting. Ah, so it wanted check first. Okay, that makes sense. And then really I just needed to do one thing here, which I failed to recognize, was that his rook was on the open file. King had no escape squares, so I got one of these embarrassing checks. Yeah. GG. Um, yeah, the opponent played pretty well. Felt like 71% accuracy. He had four great moves. 
So zero blunders. I had two blunders, a bunch of mistakes. He only had one mistake, a miss, zero blunders. So yeah, he played pretty well. So GG Ongmo2561 from Burma. Burma. Yeah. GG, man. And see you guys in the next game.